Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be making Grell from Black Butler. So I'm starting off with the base body right here. At the very bottom, we are using black to fill up the bottom of his shoes and it transitions up to red. There's one vertical line and three horizontal lines. The lines are supposed to be like, like shaped like this, like a little arrow that goes upwards, but not enough room. So some of the lines are kind of straight and there's three of them going horizontally. His pants are all black and we're switching up to the color coffee by I Love This Yarn because I believe he's wearing like this brown vest thing. And there's also another shirt layer underneath that's white. So I'm changing up the color right here. His head is in skin color, Magnolia Way by Crafter Secret. For his eyes, I'm giving him black pointy cornered eyes. And then he has green irises, which I'm using Citron by Impeccable. And here is what it looks like on the back side. And I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. First off, we are starting off with this black collar right here. I am using black yarn and taking my hook to create this nice collar. And then I went ahead and took my yarn needle and sewed it around the neck area to keep it in place. I also glued down each of the little four tabs right here so it can stay in place and doesn't move around. Next thing I did was take my black lace yarn and then I sewed the lace yarn across the chest area. Three little lines just for like the little details uh, to create the little vest. And then and after that, I created this little coffee color for the bottom of the shirt and then I pinned it down and then glued it all the way around. And then finally, I created his little bow tie. So in order to make the bow tie, I took my white yarn. I created a simple bow with little bow tails hanging down. And I did the same thing with this red lace yarn, which is called Poppy Red. And I also created a simple bow out of that one as well. And then I glued the red bow on top of the white bow. And then I glued both of those bow onto the neck area to create the little bow tie. And moving on to the arms right here, both arms are the same. I am using black yarn for the bottom part. It transitions to red right here. And I noticed how he is wearing his jacket like off the shoulder. So that's why I kind of have red right here and it transitions up to white. Just because when I create the jacket, I kind of want it to hang down off his shoulders and not completely onto his shoulders. And here is what it looks like on the back side. So this bottom part here will be pretty much covered up. His hair cap is fire red, so it's a lighter red than this red right here. I'm using four inner rounds and three outer rounds, and I also gave him two little ears, one on each side of his face, since his ears do show. And while I'm at it, I kind of created this little jacket for him right here. It's, as usual, the jackets I create are like all little rectangles with like little armholes in them. And here's pretty much what it looks like on the inside. The outside is pretty much the same as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this on. So right here, I want the jacket to stop at this white area right here. And there you go. It shows like the inner layer that he's wearing on the outside. So hopefully that makes sense. Like this is supposed to be like all hanging down and it's supposed to flap outwards, I guess. I'm trying to like bend it into like the shape that I want. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of tell like his, his jacket is like kind of hanging down. But anyway, I think that's the look that I'm trying to achieve so far. And here's what it looks like on the back side. Just this one long ass rectangle right here. And part of the white also shows right there. I think this part will be covered up because he does have really long hair. And there we go so far. I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another quick update. So for his glasses, I really don't like doing characters with glasses because I really haven't figured out a better way to do it. So this one, I simply took my fire red yarn and I pinned it down to his face and tried to shape it to the way I feel like it's accurate to the picture. And this is how I decided to do it so far. And I think it's a simple method. You simply just take fabric glue and you just lift up the pins and then glue them down, pinning them back down and wait for them to dry. And then you just take off the pins and it's a simple shape enough. So this is currently what it looks like on his face right here. I hope it doesn't look too weird once I add on his hair, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue and I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the next update. So here is his hair so far. After creating on the glasses, I went ahead and used fire red strands, reference to my Niki hair tutorial. So if you want to know how to make your own anime style hair like the ones I do here, links is in the description box below. And so for this middle strand right here, I am using 12 chain and as well as another 12 chain right here on this side. And over here we have an eight chain. On this side right here is another long 12 chain. Then I'm gonna go all the way over here, which is slightly beneath the hair cap which is where I put the eight chain on this side. We have one eight chain right here, another eight chain right here. So I put it in a way where the strands can like poke out. This one pokes out kind of above the ear. So then here's the eight chain right here. 
And here's another eight chain with the strand poking upwards. Moving on over here, we have another eight chain. The strand pokes up like pretty much on the middle, but leaning more towards the side on the left. And then we have another eight chain right here, as well as another eight chain right here on this side. Also another little strand. And then one more back here, right underneath the hair cap. There's also one eight chain right here in the middle to fill up the gap. And yeah, he has like pretty much a lot of little hair strands that like go out you can like kind of tell like the shape of the hair at this point and it's so cool to like visualize and imagine what the rest of the hair is gonna look like but yeah here's what it looks like so far here's on the back side and here's the side again all the way around i will now be going back and adding longer strands to the bottom of the hair cap around the edges right here and then we will be filling up the rest with eight chains so I'll be right back for the final update. Hi guys, welcome back to the final update for Corel. I am done with all the hair parts. Here is the current overall view. So here we have the front side and moving along to the side profile right here. Here is the back side. So I went ahead and glued on all the eight chains into place right here, just in little columns and rows. We have the long half double crochet strands right here. Here's the other side. So here we have like the ear and the half double crochet strand starts right after the eight chain on this side. And I believe the same thing on this side as well. So the hair is pretty much going to stay in the back side for the most part. Although with these type of crochet strands, they do tend to like poke out. <laughs> so I just kind of like try to like bend them back into place and hopefully it just flattens out when I display them on my risers. But yeah, this is the overall look so far. I love the way the hair is sticking up on each side of the head and the glasses. Oh my gosh, the glasses. I really tried to use aluminum wire at first to create like the little shape and I was thinking about gluing my red yarn on top of the wire, but I couldn't get the wire to bend properly and it was really difficult to do without any of like the tools, I guess the pliers. So I decided to scrape that off and not use that at all. And the wires were also making my my fingers really black too. I don't know what residue was on there, but it was making my fingers all black. So yeah, I gave up on that and I decided that it's probably just easier to glue his glasses onto his face. And I think it does the job pretty well actually, since his glasses doesn't have any like black tint or it's not completely covering his entire eye off. Then I just went ahead and glue on the outline. So I think that wasn't a bad idea actually. And I really love the overall look the way his jacket is supposed to like flare out on this side right here and how it's hanging off of his shoulders. I really like all those little details of it. So now that we're done with him, we're now gonna be moving on to Undertaker. Hi guys, welcome back to the next doll. So now we're gonna be working on Undertaker. Here is his current base body so far. He's actually a pretty simple character in design and the colors too, they're very similar. He wears like a lot of dark clothing. So I'm starting off his entire leg with black right here. So just want to flip this little flap open and show you the bottom part. It is all black. I took my coffee yarn by I Love This Yarn and I simply sewed on three little lines to show like the straps of his shoes. I didn't really specify which row to sew it on, but as long as you have like little lines that goes along the shoes, then it's fine. So flipping this up, you can see right here, the color changes right there. This is the skirt area, which is what I'm calling it. It's actually a part of his long coat that he's wearing. So I'm gonna call it a skirt so that way we can attach it on. And then moving forward, we are using the same color, which is Thunder by Impeccable, which is a really dark gray. And then we're switching up to black again because he has like some layers underneath which are black and it kind of shows around the neck area. And then I'm moving on to his head. He has no eyes just because he has hair that covers his eyes. So I feel like if I'm just gonna make bangs that cover up his eyes, there's no need to put on safety eyes. And here is the current overall view of the body so far. There we have it. Hi guys, welcome back to the next update. So now I'm gonna start off with the arms right here. I am starting off with skin color and then I'm transitioning up to thunder and it's the same for both arms as well. And for the middle of the shirt, I actually went ahead and took the thunder yarn, which is the same one as the outfit right here. I am sewing it on to create the little outfit details. And I tried to sew on like the little collar, like kind of like the shape of the collar, although that's not really necessary. I don't think any of this part is actually necessary but I did it anyways. 
So I would say it's pretty optional since it doesn't really make much of a difference. And then after that, I went ahead and took my classic gray yarn to create this shoulder sash right here. That's what I'm calling it, the shoulder sash, which I wrapped all the way around. And then I took my pins and I glued it down in place. And this is pretty much it for the body. It's really simplified and super easy to do. Here is the back side so far. And for the hair cap, I'm using Classic Gray by Impeccable, which is a lighter gray color. I'm using four inner rounds and four outer rounds. And I'm also adding these little pins right here where the eyes are supposed to be, just so I can tell how long I want the hair to go down whenever I place down the hair strands. And this is the current update so far. I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the next update. So starting off with the face right here, I took my black lace yarn and I went ahead and sewed it across the face. I tried to do it accurately as close as I could to the original reference where he has like the scar that slashes across his face and onto his left eye. And in this case, I think I accidentally made the scar a little bit too low. <laughs> far down on his face, but if I were to redo this again, I think I would make it the scar a little bit higher and closer to the right eye. But since I am already here now, I'm just going to leave it as is. As you can see right here, there's like not enough mouth room. It's supposed to be a little bit higher, but it's not a big deal. So moving on, we are gonna be going to the middle strands right here. Starting off this side and this side are both 10 chains. Moving on over, I have another 10 chain right here. And on the other side is another 10 chain as well. So the strands are pretty much mirroring each other. So for right here, this third strand right here is a 12 chain. I'm trying to leave a little bit strand to poke out right here. And the third strand on the other side is also another 12 chain. And moving over to these two strands right here we have eight chains we have this one eight chain that is right next to the other 12 chain and then i'm going to have another eight chain right here which is placed slightly lower so that way when you face the front side you can see all three little strands poking out on the front and the same thing with the other side we have this eight chain right here placed next to this 12 chain and the last eight chain placed just a little bit lower so that way you can see it like in the middle this is the third eight chain right here. And here is the other eight chain on this side. And there we go. One, two, three little strands poking out on the front side. And that is what it looks like so far. Here is the back side. And there we go. I will now continue on with the hair strands, creating longer strands that go all the way down. And we'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the final update for Undertaker here. So after creating the bangs on the top part, I went ahead and added on this little slip stitch strand on this side. I placed it down and glued it right underneath this little eight chain right here, which is next to the 12 chain and glued it down. So that way we have this little strand on this side. He has a little tiny braid. So all I did was simply chained the strand. And then I also placed it under this eight chain next to this 12 chain right here. And I just poked it in and I glued it down to secure it in place. So that's his little braid and the little slip stitch strand. And for the back side right here, I am placing my half double crochet strands along here. It's right next to this eight chain and it's placed on the second to last bottom ring. You can see right here, we have it going along the second to last ring all the way around. And here's what it looks like on the back side. Here's the other side, same thing, placed along here. And I decided to not cover up this part with eight chains just because this part's going to be covered up with his hat. And I think it looks fine the way it is, even on the top part right here. So yeah, I decided to not waste my yarn and just keep it as is. Looks totally fine the way it is. So that is the doll for that one. And here we have the top hat right here with this little long <laughs> strand right here. His hat is kind of different. It's like little strands that are wrapped around the top hat and then it goes to the top. And when you put on him, this part's like dangling down. So it's going to be like placed on him something like this. I'm just going to flatten this down like this. And there we go. So in terms of how I created this part, when I finished creating the top hat by itself, I went back to the little loops on the top part. I am starting right here, this side. So this is what the hat looks like in my hand when I start. And then I put the hook inside of a random loop. It doesn't matter where you do it. And on the front side, I just kind of picked a loop and I chained it from there. And I worked the little half double crochets all the way around to create the rows back and forth and attached it to the hat. 
to create the long strand of the hat. So now we're going to go ahead and put it on him and see what it looks like for the final look. And here it is so far for the final update, the final look on the Undertaker and his hat right there. So you can kind of see like this little long strand just hanging on the side like how he has it for the reference photo. And here it is along the back side. It's just like kind of like dangling down. And there we have it. Both dolls are completely finished. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more draw progress vlogs in the future as well as some other otaku unboxing videos that's coming up soon and if you have any characters you would like me to make please comment down below and i will consider making them thank you guys so much for watching i'll be back with another video soon bye